Hi everybody, I'm welcome back. The spider. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And um, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I am Megan. I am this is James, and today I'm and going to be showing you different ways to teach your preschooler. All about dinosaurs. All about dinosaurs. I could do that. Okay, the first activity we're going to do is I'm just going to have James read some books. Or in this case, he's going to be watching them on YouTube. Um, I just want to start with a book, dot .org. Yeah. And you can scroll down and then I went here and that just takes you to this. And these are just four different books that I found on YouTube. If you have these books already, great. If you want to go to your local library and find them, that, you know, that's great too. Mommy, I have to read those books. Yeah, that's what we're about to do, baby. So, um, no, no, sorry if you can no, hear my no, daughter no, crying no, no. background. <laughs> but, um, so I just, we're going to do this first one, Dinosaur Bob. And I'm just going to let, there's different um, ones where people can read it. And I'm just going to pull it one up. Um, this, this uh, Let's see, which one looks better? Let's do this one. And now I'm just going to let James watch it. Wow, I like it. Hey, what's the drawing? Dinosaur Bob and his adventures with the family Lizardo. That's why right, Dad. Why, why, why do we need Bob? Why do we need lots of Bob? Every year before the start of the baseball season, the Lizardo. Okay, so uh, I will have all the books um, linked, or the YouTube videos that James watch, watch um, linked down in the description. All right, the next activity is called Cookie Excavation. Um, all you need is cookies. Yes, what? some cookies. I got these soft ones because you need them to be pretty soft. And then a paper towel or a plate or some sort. I don't want that in here. Hold um, on, James. And a toothpick. Okay, James. Do you know when dinosaurs live? I want my dust. I want my dust so to be the egg. Hold on, James. Do you know? Do you know when dinosaurs lived? Eggs. No, when. They lived a long, long time ago, like millions of years ago. Listen to me. Do you know how we know that they exist? I want my dad be, to be in the egg. James, listen to me. Do you know why? how we know that dinosaurs exist? That means, do you know how they know, how we know that dinosaurs were once on the earth you know that these dinosaurs used to live on the earth before we lived here well we lived here where did we live before we lived here do what where did we live when we lived when we used to work before the humans lived on the earth dinosaurs roamed the earth we were on we were with the dinosaurs yeah when, when we just moved here when we moved here on earth Anyway, dinosaurs, we found, we found their bones called artifacts in the soil, like in the ground, in the dirt. And that's... Well, no, Daddy, no. They have, they're called fossils, too. But um, the things that we find that are left out behind were also called artifacts. They are left in soil. And so that's how we found, that's how we know that dinosaurs once around the, the earth. 
So what we're going to do is um, you need some kind of cookie, preferably soft, to make it a lot easier. But you're going to just get something like chocolate chip or raisin. Mommy, yeah, okay, hold on. You, you need to, um, we're not eating this yet. Okay, listen, what we're going to do. And this is going to be your soil. I'll have to be my soil. It must be going to be and, your soil. And you're going to be a archaeologist. You know what an archaeologist is? Mm -hmm. It's a scientist and a detective. You love you love being a detective. Yeah, like detective yeah. Zhao. And um, they, the archaeologists use a scientific method like excavation, like an excavator. You know the excavator? Well, they, okay, they okay, don't the use excavator. It's a cute dinosaur. To discover clues and then solve mysteries of the past. Mysteries, you know, mysteries. I know these are big words. Hold on. And excavation means removing soil, which on the cookie, the the cookie will be the soil part, and this and discover the tools and other things used by people who lived long time ago. Okay. Okay. And, and the things that these are archaeologists um, find are called artifacts, and. The artifacts are in the layers of the soil. This is a lot to take in, I know. Um, and are found. That's all in the cookie. That's all in the cookie. And then archaeologists found a lot of stuff that were in the sand. Or, not sand, soil. Unfortunately, excavating this, this artifact, no. Mm -hmm. Destroy soil layers, and that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be destroying this with the this cookie. I'll just sell with the dinosaur. And you can't go back and repeat it once you've done it. How to deal with the so dinosaur? You have to be very, very careful. What you're going to do is you're going to get. Um, you're going to get this. With the, with the you're going to get your. Um, you're going to get your toothpick, and you're going to. Yeah. Try to. Well, are you listening to me? You're gonna try to get all the chocolate chips out of this cookie without touching, without touching it, because archaeologists can't touch their artifacts they're trying to get. Okay, you're not gonna pick up the cookie because you're gonna try to get the little cookie, the artifacts, the um, the chocolate chips out of the cookie without touching it. Okay. Okay. I know it's a lot. But I'm to make some no. Okay, Mommy's going to do the first one. You see this? Oh, oh, I'm not supposed to touch it. I'm not supposed to touch it. Okay, you see this little um, chocolate chip right here? That's going to be a fossil or artifact or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to try to get that out. I'm going to try. Okay, we're going to have to touch it because it's moving Stop. around. Cause I but we're going to try to get that out. Can I you see? Be... We're going to try to get that out a whole Let's try to get the camera. Nope, nope, we're not gonna use our fingers. We gotta use this um cute um I wanna keep saying Q tip, but we're actually a toothpick. Oh mommy, see mommy's not a very good um archaeologist. She's breaking it. Why? Cause the it's the soil, the cookie is very well, it's very breakable. Well, it's very breakable because of these. Do you want to try to use the toothpick to get the chocolate chip out? Uh -huh. Okay. I can't do it. No, you, you got to just try. You can do it. Just try. I can't do it. It's staying in there. Well, here, try to work around it. I got it. I got it. Oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you find another yeah. one? Okay, now you're eating it. Okay. Our next activity 
is called the Dinosaur's Giant Footprints. And I got this um, at Tilly's. Stop. 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 From the, the same, um, okay, stop. Same <laughs> website that we, I was talking about earlier. And, and it, I got some little prints, print offs. Okay, you're shaking the camera. Um, print offs about this things you can uh, talk to your preschooler about. And it says, you know, dinosaur footprints can be found all over, around the world. Did you know that? Did. And they are in fossilized form. Okay, and on this page right here, it shows you a, a page. Comparing the dinosaurs and their footprints to a human adult. Look at this, James. Let's see if you can see. It. Sorry. Look at this. This is like a man, like daddy. You see that? And here's a little dinosaur that next to him that's shorter. But most dinosaurs were way bigger than daddy, huh? That is the same as daddy. No, look, this is daddy down here. And look, these are this is how big the dinosaurs were compared to where if daddy was to walk with them. And see, and here, and these are how big their feet would be. See, these these would be about the size of daddy's feet. This small one right here. And look at this triceratops. It, look how big its feet is compared to like daddy's feet. And then let's see. Compared like daddy's feet. <laughs> and you got some stegosauruses. Stegosaurus. Spinosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Bro bro <laughs> um, <laughs> the T Rex over here. See, and the crazy how big their feet are. If we had these in our in our backyard, you know how big they would be. Uh -huh. Some of these, really, really big, huh? Uh -huh. Can you imagine how big they are? Uh -huh. All right, now we are going to actually make a, so a giant. Triceratops footprint here in our house. And then we'll put it outside. Well, I guess we can put it outside. But, I do. But uh, it comes with this little template. Um, you can find this online too. Mm -hmm. And it gives you directions on how to put it together. So we're going to put together a Triceratops. We're going to compare our feet to the Triceratops feet. And like and other things like this well, shows us well, we can put mine a soccer ball. We can sh put our little toys. Y your feet can go on there. We're, we're gonna okay. Put it down. We're gonna um, see how big and, and see their how feet big really it. were. And okay, James. We're gonna have to figure out how. To, please ignore my dirty floor. <laughs> but um, we're gonna have to figure out how to put this triceratops foot together. You ready? Uh, I'm sitting down too? Yes.
Okay, now I'm just going to um, tape it down so it doesn't move. Okay, James, this is how big a Triceratops um, foot would have been. This your little... You see your dinosaur? If he was real, this was how big his foot would have been. Yes. Yeah. Put your foot in there. How many of your feet do you think fit in a Triceratops foot? I don't know. A lot? Yeah. You, now it's your turn. I did it. Oh. I see we put milk on it. And here's a milk carton. Let's see, it'll take like one, it'll be like down this way. One, two, three, four, five. We got six, milk carton. Seven. Let me put let me finish it. Seven, eight. About nine milk cartons eight. would fit inside a triceratops foot. I don't know. No, I said nine. Here, hand me your shoe over there. Let's see how many of your shoes would fit in on here. So if your foot was in here, one, two, three, oh, four, my five, in here. My six, in here. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and the living room, 21, 22. It would take you about 22 um, of your feet to get into one Triceratops. Why don't you come sit right in the middle? You could sit in a Triceratops foot. What, can you believe that? You can believe that? He thinks he's not supposed to step on it. Good boy. Look, Baxter's about the size of a Triceratops foot. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I am. We can make a perfect this tweet on there. That would be amazing. Okay, James. Um, You saw how big that foot was, right? And how many of those does this guy have? Can you, can you count his feet? Can you count his feet? How many feet does he have? Let me count. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five. I think you need to try that again. One, two, three, four. There you go. And how many does the T-Rex have? One, two. And then he has two little tiny little arms. Uh -huh. Got this out by uh, McDonald's. Happy meal. Happy meal. And here's another triceratops. How many does he have? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you imagine this guy coming at you with those big feet? Four of those big feet? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next activity is called the one, two, three, ABC. Or Excuse me, it's called the ABC123, the lava floor game. And what you need, um, this is going to, well, what you just need is some paper, construction paper. And I just got this, this little tiny tablet, just like half the construction paper, which is going to be like perfect for this activity. And then you need something to draw with. And, um, scissors and if you can do it like the quick easy way like I'm gonna be doing a stapler but this is just going to sorry I'm reading my notes over here Shh. this is says um, is this gonna be letter and number recognition gross motor uh, recognition and then gross motor play apparently I need to learn how to read Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I just got this shoe and I am gonna get the paper and I'm gonna trace the shoe 
around it. And this is how I'm going to make like the dinosaur um, feet. So let me do that real quick. Okay, um, I didn't really want to touch the marker to the shoe, so it didn't look, it didn't look real great. But I'm going to do the best I can um, at um, cutting it out, kind of make it look more like a dinosaur. But I'm going to be doing uh, 26 because I'm going to be doing A through Z. So I am going to count out 26. One. Okay, that's a lot of paper. <laughs> and you don't want to be cutting out 26 of these, like, one at a time. So, the trick is that I've learned, and you probably already know it, but in case you don't, well, in this case, it might be a little bit easier because it's already um, still connected. <laughs> but um, you can staple it around and then it'll keep it in place so you can you don't have to cut up 26 at a time. I think I might cut out um, only a few at a time because that's, it's really going to be hard on my scissors. But So I'm going to grab like 5 or 6 and then, or maybe a little bit more. And then let's see if they'll still be together. No, they're still glued together. Maybe I'll do one staple over here. Just kind of make sure they're together. Now I'm going to cut it around this. And I'm going to kind of make some like toes. So it'll look more like a dinosaur's foot. Alright, there's my little dinosaur feet. Now I just have all these to go. <laughs> so I'm going to get one of these and trace it around again on this these papers so I can cut these out too. All right, now I have them all cut out and I'm gonna go through and write a, B's, the ABCs on one side and then one through 26 on the other side. Okay, so I ended up not putting numbers on the back of them just because this is pretty light and thin paper. I got it at the Dollar Tree, so not the explanation of that, but <laughs> I love the Dollar Tree, but uh, their paper is a little bit on the thinner side. So um, if you had thicker paper, you could just write it on the back, um, the, the one two threes <laughs> numbers and um or you could just do 26 more feet <laughs> and um you put the numbers on those so that's that's up to you okay so now i just taped the footprints on the floor and i'll show you what our next activity is so what we're going to do is i'm going to have james Find the letter A, and then he's going to jump. Since the floor is lava, he can't touch it. He's going to go to B, then C, then E, and F, and all the way down. You ready, James? Uh -huh. A. a, don't. B, what comes after B? Oh, no, no. What comes after B? Got A. 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 Then jump to B. B. So what's after B? What? What letter comes up to B? C. Hey, jump to C. Which one's C? There you go. Where's D? D.
Okay, the next activity we're going to be doing is this dinosaur A to Z. A. And it takes you to PBS Kids. Yeah. We're going to be doing um, dinosaur train. And okay, it says to write each alphabet on an index card. But I just printed out this. Uh, whoops. And we just printed out this. Um, list of all the alphabet with a dinosaur on it. All right, and we're going to go to this conductor is singing a uh, dinosaurs A to Z, and it will take you to this. Okay, James. When they say it, I want you to point to which letter it is. A. B. C. Okay, here, this is the... First, click the space where you want your dinosaur to start. Called the air show. That's it. The further back you start, the further your dinosaur will fly. Now, the other team will fly first. To win the gold, follow my instructions. I'll tell you where to land. I want you to fly farther than the other dinosaur did. And we're going to go up. Alright, and there's also a fill guide. Oh, we already did that. And then there's print. You can print off little um, worksheets that you can do. Um, let's see. What's this one? These are Valentine cards you can do. I have to do those Valentine cards. And this is... Let's see. Buddy and Tiny, Shiny and Dawn are forming a new club, the Nature Trackers. They built a clubhouse nest where they can share the nature collections. Can you circle a shell, some leaves, and two rocks, and some twigs and on this page to add to the collection? So they're just fun little activities you can do. I can do, do it. I can do it. I can do it. All right. For our last activity, we are going to be making fossils. Fossils? Yes. What are fossils? We're talking about dinosaurs. Okay, so what you'll need is we need gonna need this one cup. I'm not sure. Um, one cup of used coffee grounds. I will use. I need this. I we'll need coffee. salt I'm and need coffee. cold coffee, which is just kind of hot, but hope it'll still work. Some flour. Some flour. Can I do the flour? Um. Uh, a mixing bowl. Then I got a little measuring. No, cup. no I put stuff in and it. And some like little small animals. We got some little dinosaurs and a wooden spoon. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is put all of our ingredients together. I want to put it there. Okay, so we got and some pour. coffee grounds. And I'm going to pour that on no, there. No, nope. That's, we're not going over there. We're going to put it right here. Put it in there. Can I one do cup. It? Is it just one cup? Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many going in there. Uh, okay, dump it. Okay, that's good. <sighs> Let's not do that. I don't want coffee all over the place. And then Mommy's going to do the next one because it's supposed to be cold coffee, but it's still kind of warm. I don't want that in there. Um, no, no, I know no. this isn't exactly a cup, but I mean, it's supposed to be with dry ingredients. But let Mommy do this one because it is still a little warm and I don't want it to hurt you. Why? Because that would be bad. We don't do this too much. We play okay. coffee, that video. All right, coffee next glass. is one and a cup, one and a half cup Can I put of soda? flour. I have to put flour. Probably should have bought some more flour. <laughs> yeah, I suppose we can buy some more flour. Okay. Yeah, yeah, more flour. Let's get a little more. Hold on. Okay, mm. dump that. Now flour. Ha ha. Just do like a little half more. Oh, okay, I think we're having enough. Okay, dump it gently. Okay. All right, so let's.
Let's see what's next. That one's a half really good. A cup of salt. Now salt. Can I put the salt too? Can I put the salt? Can I put that salt in there? Here, you can help, mommy. Hold on, I'm not ready yet. Hold on, let me get the rest of Okay, dump that. <laughs> dump, no, let's not blow it. I didn't put that in there. Okay, now you're gonna, let's make sure it's not hot. Okay, we did. Now, let's roll up your sleeves. I'm gonna roll up my sleeves. Now, let's roll up this one. Okay, now you're going to knead all this together. That means you're just gonna go in here and go like this. No, I have to mix. Well, we'll do that in a second. Here. Actually, we do need to mix it. So, he knows better than so, I do. Okay, let's mix it. And, and I know better than you that do. That makes sense. It, it's late at night, so... <laughs> when we're doing this, so... Mommy's brain's not exactly awake right now. She's getting tired. Okay, so let's mix it. Keep helping me. Now, what else do we need? Well, we have we have all the ingredients in there. Now, why do we need to mix? Okay. Wow. Let's put some of this in here. Okay, now we're going to... Can you get in here? It kind of looks like Oreos mixed in there. Can you get in here and help me? Uh-huh. Okay. You're just going to go like this. Just kind of move it around. It so is not. Yeah, me. it's not really. Um, we're gonna have to put some more flour in it. Okay, now we. I just ended up having to put the rest of the flour in there. And do not eat it, James. You will not like it. Why? Well, if you want to try it, you can. But you don't. You're not gonna like the taste of coffee. Why? Okay, try it now. You'll see. <laughs> put some in your mouth. <laughs> didn't think so. Okay, next. Okay. Okay, uh, you get some of this dough, and you're going to make a ball out of it. Here, let me show you. Here. A big ball. No. Okay, get like this and go like this. Here, you use this one, or you can use that one. Here, get a little more to that. Yeah. There you go. Can you make a ball? Uh-huh. I can't do it, but... Three inches in diameter. Let's see. One, two. Oh, we need a little more. This ball needs a little more. Yeah, but mine doesn't. Ta da! I think it, yours probably needs a little more, too. No, mine doesn't need more. Mm, I think it needs a little. Let's say what up. Here. Yeah. And mommy will make this ball. Okay, James, so you're already doing what. Here, mommy will get her ball over here. And just press it down with your palm. Oh, I did mine with my palm. Push it down as much as you can. Here, let me help you. Here. I want, and let me I help you. Okay, and we have one more over here. Let's do this one too. No, I'm gonna squish it. No, we're not putting it on top. Squish it down. I'm putting this one on top. Of this one. No. It looks like Mickey Mouse, but it's upside down. Kind of, it does. Okay, so now you got these balls. Mickey Mouse. Actually, this Mouse is kind of cool. Hey, you have one already going in here. Let's use your hand. Here, open your hand up like this. We'll make a fossil of your hand. Okay, look at that. Oh, okay. Don't touch that one. It was cool. Now let's use this one on this one. Let's make little tracks. Or let's, put him, let's put him on the side and push him in. Or you can do it that way. Okay. Oh, don't do that one. We'll leave this one alone. James, I don't want to mess it up because I want to do your hand. That'll be really neat. Now let's do. Let's push it in T Rex. Push, push down T Rex. Okay. There we go. That's that'll be his fossil. Okay, now don't touch it. Don't touch it. We're going to keep it like this. <laughs> keep it like this. And then tomorrow we're going to let it, um, we're going to let it dry overnight. And in the morning we'll have little fossils of your hand. Okay? Don't touch it. 
Don't touch it. You touch. All right, that is the end of um, this video. If you found any ideas that you would ah, like to use I'm a fossil. in your preschool theme of dinosaurs, ah. um, please let me know and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss any of our videos. All right, until next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye.